All right, this weekend, Beaver Dam High School theater students will do something they haven't done before. They're putting on a virtual musical titled Songs for a New World. Our Michael Bruno goes behind the screens to check it out. To try to decide, be safe or be free, the new or the old, and the wind starts. Yeah, we're working on a musical called Songs for a New World. We will be performing live in the high school auditorium. Um, but you, the audience, would be watching live at home. And now, is this an original musical, or is this a musical that's already been been performed by other companies? Yeah, this musical um, was originally, I believe, it's back in 1995, by um, written by a guy named Jason Robert Brown, who um, he's I think most well known for writing the musical The Last Five Years, which was turned into a movie uh, starring uh, Jeremy Jordan and Anna Kendrick. When you have a mascot, obviously all you can really see is your eyes. So is, is it really interesting when you're singing with somebody or to somebody, and how you have to kind of be more expressive with these, yeah, these eyes. You, really gotta, you really have to use your eyebrows like make sure <laughs> that you're getting the emotion through one of the things that was most different to me that i noticed we hadn't had a lot of rehearsals with a lot of people there and all of a sudden now everyone's there all the time and i'm just starting to get to know some people for the first time so that was really interesting um is this all done to tracks or you actually have uh, an orchestra in the pit we do have a pit orchestra for this show. That was one of the one of the things that drew me to selecting this. Um, there's only five pit members, and none of them are playing wind instruments. So the pit orchestra is able to be in um, in the pit. They are all at least six feet apart. They're all wearing masks the entire show. So that I was glad that we were able to do it that way. Um, normally, this is only a four-person musical, right? But you've really expanded this to use a lot more people, haven't you? The score calls for two men and two women for the show, but being in high school, I want—I um, have, in my career, made the decision that if um, a student auditions for my musical, they get to be in the musical in some capacity. So uh, it was—we were able to expand it, though. The stories in the show are individual songs. Each song ends up being its own story. Um, we've talked about each of the songs being about choices, so that they tell that story about whatever choice that they made that was forced upon them or whatever it may be and um, then it's done so even though I don't call for four in the show I was able to you know each song I could pick four different students or you know double up some vocal parts or add in some background actors in some scenes you have already have cameras on stage with you so it's a little different than just doing a regular show show where you're only performing everything to the audience it's been different because you really have to play to the camera you want big movements but you can't have too big of movements because then the camera can't pick it up and you can't move too fast because then you'll fall out of frame so, you know, the people who've been working on the cameras have been giving us notes to help with that, and it's been different than normal. And what about your breathing? It definitely needs more breath, and both me and Rachel have pretty belty parts of our solos. So that's like, you do, you have to produce more breath, and as well as enunciation. We've talked about that a lot, how you have to enunciate more clearly with the mask, because otherwise they can't understand it. Pretty impressive. Michael joins us now. That's a, that's a big cast. It, well, it's amazing because they, they they brought it up for me originally with down 24 people, uh, and now he you know wants all of his students to be out. So they have a lot of extra people on stage, and it's amazing that this is the first time that I've heard of where they're actually doing a hybrid, and they're actually going to be able to perform on the stage at the high school and be socially distant from each other and wear masks while they're singing. So it's going to be pretty unusual. This may be the you know, the wave of the future for musicals for high schools. Yeah, it's so cool to see them just adapt and figure out a way to make it work, wear a mask, you know, figure out a way to put the show on. Right. It, it, it's just impressive, again, how high school students are, are just so amazing and how they're so adaptable. And their, their love of theater just wants to keep, you know, keep them on the stage, which is really encouraging. And singing through a mask, that's, that's yeah. tough. Yeah, that's really crazy, too, having to sing with a mask on. <laughs> you can catch the virtual musical Songs for a New World this weekend. Three more performances this weekend, 7.30 tonight and tomorrow, and then 2 p.m. on Sunday. You can buy tickets to be live-streamed event at showtickets.com. Show it's $15 per device.
And Michael, you also got a chance to talk to Tony Award winning performer Laura Benanti this week. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. She's doing her uh, her cabaret show as part of the Overtures uh, benefit. It starts tonight. And I got to ask her a question through the interview. And I asked her if she was going to do Melania Trump, which she's been kind of famous for on the Stephen Colbert show. And this is what she had to say to me. This is meant to bring the theater back to life. And to think that, that um, you know, like a, a silly impersonation could cause so much anger. I feel really bad that that's happening for that theater. So I would hate to Yeah, that is unfortunate. It's very sad. I guess, you know, some people found out that she was the person that did the impersonation and they asked for refunds for their money, which oh. is really kind of oh. sad. Like, it's a benefit to keep our theaters open. That's right. So, She's got a beautiful yeah. voice, too. You know, she has a gorgeous voice. I can't wait to hear her. Yeah, really nice. You can catch Laura live from the west side this weekend. The live stream event is being put on by the Overture Center. More information at overture.org. All right, Michael, you ready? We're ready. Three, Three. two, one. <laughs> it's, it's Friday! Friday. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jazz my first hands time and all. getting to do it virtually. You guys are looking good. <laughs> You're not broken in, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> she is now. I am now. Yeah, it felt good. Good. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Hi, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Michael. Go Packers. Yay. Go Packers. Go Badgers. Yes. <laughs> All right. Final check of your forecast coming up.